Masaya mag-aral ng Sensa with Sir Arjun Miranda. Investigation is the heart of science. It is the way scientists do research. Scientific investigation is a way to find answers to a question that will produce evidences that help you answer questions and solve problems. As more knowledge are discovered, science advances. Researchers investigate the world in so many ways. In different fields of science, they may use different methods and be guided by different theories and hypotheses. But most of them generally follow the steps in a scientific investigation. After watching this video, you are expected to describe the components of a scientific investigation. Specifically, you are also expected to identify the steps in a scientific method. First, let's test your vocabulary with this short activity. What is scientific investigation? Scientific investigation is the way in which scientists and researchers use a systematic process to answer questions about the world around us. It is a way of finding the answer to a question using the carefully arranged steps. In other words, the scientific method is a systematic process that involves measurable observations to formulate, test, or modify, and prove a hypothesis. Scientific method involves a series of steps that are used to investigate a natural occurrence. Do you know how many steps a scientific method have? For this lesson, we have 7 steps of scientific method. Let's try this activity first. Scientists are by nature keen observers. That is why they can easily perceive areas where problems exist. Having identified the problem, scientists undertake a carefully planned investigation following a systematic and logical approach using the steps in scientific method. Here are the steps in scientific method. Number 1. Identify or define the problem. Number two, make observations or research. Number three, formulate a hypothesis. Number four, test hypothesis and perform experiments. Number five, collect, organize, and analyze data. Number six, draw a conclusion. Number seven, communicate the result. Identifying Problems The first step in scientific investigation is to identify a problem in a given situation. You must develop a problem or question that can be solved through experimentation. 
This problem comes when the researcher is curious or interested about something. Making observations and research. The process of science starts with an observation within the surrounding of a researcher. In this step, the scientist will research and make observations regarding the problem. Formulating a hypothesis. In this step, you will give temporary solutions to the identified problem. Remember, hypothesis must be testable. Example Testing the hypothesis or performing an experiment. The next scientific step you are going to is to test the hypothesis. Some hypotheses may be tested simply by further observations or take an elaborate and tiring process as in the experiment. Things you must remember. You must develop and follow a procedure. Include a detailed list of materials. The outcome must be measurable. Organizing and analyzing data. After performing an experiment and collecting data, one must analyze the data. Research experiments usually analyze data with statistical software in order to determine the relationship among the data gathered. In the case of a simpler experiment, one would look at the data and see how they show a relationship. Modify the procedure if needed. Confirm the result by retesting. You can use tables, graphs, and photographs in presenting the data. Draw conclusions. The next step of scientific investigation is to form a conclusion. If the data support the hypothesis, then the hypothesis is correct. If the data do not support the hypothesis, then more observations must be made. A new hypothesis is formed and the scientific investigation is used all over again. It includes a statement that accepts or rejects the hypothesis, make recommendations for the further study, and possible improvement to the procedure. Communicate results. When a conclusion is drawn, the research can be presented to others to inform them of the findings and receive input about the validity of the conclusion drawn from the research.